All right, in this edition of Fitness DTV, we are once again doing effective exercises. The exercise today is called Squat Jacks, and it is from Insanity. If you learn more about Insanity, fitnessdestinations.com forward slash Insanity, awesome program. Um, the reason I wanted to demonstrate this particular exercise is because it's one of the many exercises that you can modify based on your level of fitness, based on your flexibility, based on your muscular strength. Okay, so I'm going to show you the regular way to do it first, and then I'm going to show you the modified version. Okay, so the regular way, start with your hands overhead, and you go down into a squat and a jack at the same time. All the way down like this. Knees behind your toe, butt is all the way back, thighs should be parallel to the ground. Okay, and whenever you come back up, your hands are going to be overhead, so it's going to be down, up, down, up, get your feet as wide apart as you can. Okay, and not everyone's going to be able to be on that far. So the modified way to do it is just to not have as much of a range of motion. If you can only go down this far, then only go down this far. You know, if you can go down this far, then go down that far. If you can only just barely get your feet apart, that's fine too. A lot of people think with these really hardcore workout programs like Insanity, P90X, and Turbo Fire that you have to have a really high level of physical fitness in order to do them, and that's simply not true. If you can't do the exercise the way they're doing it, then just modify it. As long as every single time you do an exercise, it's a challenge for you based on your present level of physical fitness, you're going to get just as much out of it as somebody who's going down all the way because they're in better shape. The bottom line is every single exercise needs to be a challenge for each individual person. Don't get hung up on what everybody else is doing. Just do what you can do.